And this right here is why you will never ever look like an influencer or celebrity. back to my channel I'm Brie and today we are going to be taking a good hard look at all of our most popular and most looked up to Instagram influencers and celebrities and unveiling why we your ordinary gal and guy will never look like them first of all I just want to mention that this video is not going to be a hate video I am not going to be dragging people down and making people look bad online um, that is definitely not what I'm about, but what I am about is posting our most realistic, authentic, and normal versions of ourselves online and appreciating our bodies and our minds and who we are as a person for exactly that, who we are. So if you came here for the tea, I just want you to know that it is only going to be like lukewarm, not hot. I am about to tell you something that could be shocking. Most of the people that we aspire to look like online and compare ourselves to usually don't even look like the photos that they post online. For example, this photo of Kim Kardashian that broke the internet, edited. Or this photo of Britney Spears on the cover of Marie Claire, photoshopped. And what about this photo of Queen Bee herself? It's been touched up. As you can see, the original photos actually had nothing wrong with them, they were just more realistic. So Kim K's curves aren't as dramatic as they looked in the final photo that was posted. And Britney Spears had bags under her eyes. And Beyonce's skin actually had bumps, pores, and texture which most of us do. And it's because we always see the flawless and perfect versions of these people that we aspire to look like that we aren't happy in our own skin. Because all we see and pick out is all of the flaws that these celebrities don't have. I myself am guilty of comparing myself to people online and manipulating my own photos to fit the mold, um, as I will show you right here. And this is exactly what I meant by me not trying to expose people online. I'm just highlighting the fact that most of us post our best photos because Instagram and social media is a highlight reel of our lives. You see one of the hundreds of photos that are taken behind the scenes to get the perfect shot. So unfortunately, yes, I have accepted and encouraged this beauty standard in the past, but since the start of 2020, I have said, no, I am not doing that anymore. I am not gonna be accepting this. I am gonna be posting more realistic versions of myself online. And that is what I've stuck to since the start of 2020. So I deleted all of the editing apps and I refuse to touch any of my photos. And aside from using myself as an example, I will show you some examples of well-known celebrities and influencers on Instagram that most of us will know uh, their before and after, so the original photos they've taken versus the photos that were posted online. So again, this is just a side by side to show you just how many people are editing their photos and don't look like the versions of themselves that they post online. Now these original photos of influencers and celebrities are the ones that we should be appreciating and praising, but again, I just think that we can appreciate someone else's beauty, but we can also appreciate our own beauty at the same time time and that is really important to start practicing and doing. All right, now that I've shown you an example of celebrities and influencers that have posted versions of themselves online that have been slightly manipulated, I am going to show you a behind the scenes of me taking photos just to show you how easy it is to change the way my body looks with different poses, with tensing, different lighting and things like that. And as you can see on the screen right now, when I go from tensing and posing and change it to my natural self without posing my body and just letting it all hang out naturally. This is just to showcase again how easy it is to change the way that our bodies look and post the versions of my body online that I choose to show the world versus the natural normal version of my body that I see every day in the mirror that has cellulite and dimples and rolls and bloating, all of the normal stuff 
all of which I am no longer ashamed of because I understand this is the normal human body. I'm happy, healthy, that's all that matters. All right, and now that I've shown you the behind the scenes of how to get that one perfect photo among the hundreds, I'm gonna show you just how easily accessible editing apps are and how easy it is to manipulate our bodies and change the way that we look. So as you can see, when I scroll through the app store, there are so many different editing apps, which on its own is so toxic and so sad, but moving on, I am going to download a couple of these and show you how they work. All right, now that I've put the photo of my choice in here, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to manipulate my body shape. I can bring in my waist, push out my butt, make my boobs look bigger. I can even change my face shape and make my cheeks smaller, whiten my teeth and brighten my eyes. I can also smooth out all of the blemishes and things like that, change the background color. It is insane. I mean, look at this, the before and the after, before, after. Oh, and if I posted this online, so many girls could really believe that this is the way that my body naturally looks, and that's just not true. And moving on to the next part of this video, something that has really helped me, especially on social media at the moment, is following Instagram accounts that make me feel really good about myself. So I am going to put some Instagram handles on the screen of some Instagram accounts I've been following and absolutely loving recently, so feel free to check them out and share the love with them. I don't want to be scrolling through Instagram every day and feeling worse afterwards. I want to be looking online, finding inspiration, motivation, and feeling really good about myself afterwards. And if you would like to as well, you can friend me on Instagram because I do have lots of very honest, open, realistic versions of myself on there with some positive affirmations and tips on how to love yourself and reminders to be practicing this every day. I also have lots of health tips and workout routines and things like that if you're wanting to live a healthy, happy lifestyle, because honestly, it all goes hand in hand. But yeah, I guess the moral of the story for me is that we really cannot and we shouldn't be comparing our normal and natural versions of ourselves to photoshopped and edited Instagrammers, influencers, and celebrities online. It's not a fair comparison. It's unfair on our body image, our self-esteem, and it's quite literally torture. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter if you weigh 100 kilos or 60 kilos. It doesn't matter if you have crooked teeth or a big nose. It doesn't matter if you have acne scars or have braces. None of that matters because our looks are the least important and least interesting thing about us. All that matters is that you are healthy and happy Happy with the person you are on the inside. So if you are confident in being a good person and living by your morals and happy with everything you stand for, then that is the most important thing. And if you aren't happy with the person that you are on the inside, then that is great as well because you are recognizing that there is room for growth and that'll give you the drive and inspiration to evolve into the person that you actually want to be and focus on yourself. And lastly, I just wanna remind you that we are all a work in progress probably always will be, and we're all living our own timeline. So the only person that we should be comparing ourselves to really is the person that we were yesterday. And without boring you any further, I think that brings us to the end of today's video. So I just wanna say a massive thank you if you've made it all the way through. If you have, let me know in the comment section down below. But I really hope that you'll stick around and join me on my journey to self-love and working on ourselves and just focusing on making ourselves the healthiest and happiest versions of ourselves. <laughs> anyway, I hope I will see you in my next video. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. In the meantime, I hope you stay safe and well. Hopefully I will hear from you over on Instagram and I will see you in my next video. Bye.